Hi, my name is Steve Nomura. Today I'm going to talk about how to find properties, how to generate leads. In any business, lead generation is the most important activities we call marketing, 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 three M's. This is the most important. I'm going to talk about basic five ways to generate, how to generate leads. Okay. Of course, it depends on what kind of acquisition strategies Okay, that depends on strategies. Your uh, generation activity is going to be different, but this is talk about in general. Okay? I'm going to talk about these five ways generally. All right, first, okay, MLS, also working with the agent, monetize listing service. As an investor, we cannot buy property at the market price. Of course, we have to get the good price. Okay, there are two different ways to use MLS. First, even in the property on the market, property on the MLS, sometimes good price has a good price. Also, seller is so motivated sell, you can even the price is high, but eventually you can get a good price. Therefore, you have to find good motivated sellers. You can search by keywords like a motivated, must sell, a price to sell. Those are important keywords to find motivated sellers. This is a very important way to find good deals on the MRS. If you see some property on the MRS uh, sit, sitting on the market for a long time, even you don't see any motivated, such a keyword, sometimes seller is motivated. Therefore, you're going you're gonna to find out some properties which is on the MRS for a long time, three months, six months, maybe more, more than one year. You're going to talk with the agent and then you can find out seller is so motivated or not. Also, if you work with the investor friendly agent, you can ask them to find out expired list. Okay, people put on the market to sell, but this is not sold for three months or six months and listing is expired. Of course, seller wanna sell the house. That's why they use the agent to put on the market to sell, but this was expired. In many cases, after listing is expired, the seller is, seller's motivation level is high. Therefore, that's a target. You're going to find out expired list and you're going to find out contact info of the sellers using white page or some. You can go to the county website to find tax website and you can find the contact info. And you can send the letters or postcard to find out if seller is willing to sell. Okay, That's the several ways to find good property on the MLS. Also, agent. Of course, in many ways, you're going to work with the agent. As I said, you have to find out investor-friendly agent. Uh, hopefully, ideally, these agents are also investors. They have clear perspective what kind of property are investors are looking for based on the strategies. Investors are looking for fixing flipping deals. They have to know how to calculate numbers. Okay? If you say, if you find one deal, this is going to be a good fixing flipping deal or not. Okay? As an agent, even their agent, but they have to have a clear a calculation uh, formula so that they can say clearly this is a good deal for you for fixing flipping. You have to find out those investor friendly agent. In general, the agents are living on the commission. Therefore, if you are surely to buy, once they find good deals, they're going to work so hard to find the deals for you. If they bring the deal for you, they can buy from them, they can get double commission. That's a good incentive for the agent. Therefore, you have to work with those agents closely. If you have more agents, you can get more good deals. Second, website. This is, of course, free website. There are famous, there's a several famous websites. Zillow.com, Trulia.com, Backpage.com, or Hotpad.com. Those are very famous, very popular websites. Sellers are buyers checking this website very often. Even rental property are on this website. I often use this website to find the buyer, find the seller. Also, I'm putting all of my rental property on those websites to find tenant too. If you go to those websites, you can see a seller section. We click seller section, then you can see uh, uh, for sale by owner. If you access the MLS, you don't need to go through this kind of website. If you go to this website, you can go to for sale by owner section and then you can find out uh, contact info and you can directly contact with those owners to negotiate price or terms. Okay? This is another way to find leads. Another website, there are so many 
for sale by owner website, feasible.com. There's so many uh, websites relating with the for sale by owners. Of course, those are most cases, those are not on the MLS. Therefore, you can find out contact info and then send the letters, or if there's a telephone number, you can call them directly and then negotiate term or price. This is another way to find the lease. Third, Craigslist. I love Craigslist. There are lots of lots of property on the Craigslist. You go to the real estate section. Of course, there's a seller on the buyer, also rental, right? So we can find out the seller section. And then same with the MLS. You can put motivated or must sell. Those you can use those keywords and then sort by those keywords and find out the properties. Then number four is a database subsection. Also, depending on what kind of strategies you're using. If you are focusing on show sell, okay, you have to have a pre foreclosure database. Of course, you can go to downtown county web website, you can find out pre foreclosure database data, but it takes time. Therefore, you can subscribe any uh, pre foreclosure uh, database website. Of course, it's going to cost, but it's much effective. You can save lots of time. Then, if you focus probate, if you focus high equity uh, properties or owner absentee website uh, database, you're gonna focus those database and then you can subscribe, you can send the letters, a postcards, then you can generate leads. Number five, bandit sign. If you go around the cities, you often see we buy houses. Okay, sell your home in seven days. Stop foreclosure, we buy houses. We can buy anytime in cash, any condition in cash. Those are very popular bandit signs to find the lease. I often use those kinds of signs. Why do you think that you see bandit sign? Because it works. Okay, many motivated sellers are calling those signs and asking you can, if those people can buy their house. Of course, all these are not possible for you to buy, but uh, sometimes you can find a good lease. Therefore, you're going to find out, you can, you can decide which area you're going to buy properties. If you have a certain area you're focusing on, okay, you're going to put those signs each corner of the traffic lights. You cannot put the signs everywhere in the big cities. Okay? You, ha you have to focus certain area. Then you're going to put maybe 30, 40, 50 signs in your focal area. If seller is so motivated, they're going to call you. It's another way to generate leads. This way of generating leads works. Okay? This is what I'm doing every day. As I said in the beginning, in any business, okay, lead generation, marketing activity is a key to succeed in any business. Especially in the real estate business, you have to find the seller. You have to find the property. So to find the seller, to find a good one deal, you have to call every day. You have to send the letters. You have to send the postcards every day, every week then you can find a good deal. If you keep doing this, you can maintain your business, then you can make a breakthrough in this business. Please click like and then subscribe to this YouTube channel. And then if you have any questions, comment, leave it in the comment section down below. Thank you very much.